पार्लियामेंट हिल के कंजरवेटिव इमीग्रेन आलोचक जसराज सिंह हलन ने एक न्यूज कॉन्फ्रेंस की जिथे उन्होंने अफगानिस्तान विच अपने मिशन दौरान कनेडियन बलों महत्वपूर्ण सहायता प्रदान करने वाले और काबुल विच कनेडियन दूतावास विच काम करने वाले अफगान नागरिकों मुड़ बसाने लंघी सरकार के विशेष इमीग्रेन प्रोग्राम बारे चर्चा की उन्होंने अफगान वकील भी शामिल हुए कैनेडा प्रोग्राम राही अठारह हजार अफगान नागरिकों मुड़ बसाने वचनबद्ध है जिसका ऐलान एक साल पहला तेई जुलाई दो हजार इक्की किया गया Today, conservatives are calling on this government to finally act on the following steps: to reopen the special immigration measure for Afghans who, assist, uh, who assisted the government of Canada, adopt the IRCC recommendations of the Special Committee on Afghanistan immediately, including conducting a formal all-of-government review of the liberal response to the crisis, and develop future planning to be better prepared for a similar crisis. This is despite the bureaucratic red tape that has put hurdles in the way of NGOs, veterans groups, and Canadians wanting to help Afghans get out of harm's way. The unfortunate truth is there are too many Afghans still stuck in third countries, at risk of deportation back into the hands of the Taliban, and countless more stranded are in Afghanistan. And why? It's because the Liberal government failed to plan or prepare for this crisis. Almost one year ago, the Liberals announced the special immigration measures for Afghan nationals who work for the government of Canada. And instead of planning, preparing, and surging workforce resources for IRCC and GAC to appropriately address the Afghan crisis, the Prime Minister called a selfish and unnecessary election. GAC, IRCC, DND, and the government were thrown into caretaker convention. There was a complete failure to be creative in the face of bureaucratic hurdles involving life or death situations. The government has still not learned the lessons of their weak response to the Taliban takeover. Instead, they're doubling down and patting themselves on the back for a job well failed. Our Afghan allies remain in limbo. Their lives are on the line, and rather than helping refugees coming to Canada, this liberal government is shutting down the special immigration measure for Afghans who assisted the government of Canada and the Canadian Armed Forces. According to the IRCC, out of the roughly 16,500 Afghans who've made it to Canada since August 2021, only 7,200 applicants have actually entered through this Special Immigration Measures Program. It took the government a year to process less than half of the Afghans who applied through these measures. My colleagues and I know firsthand that countless applicants who applied near the onset of the programs have yet to hear back from IRCC. They have only got auto replies and empty promises from the department. The government's decision to shut down the SIM is unconscionable. While winding down these programs to new applicants is shameful, it ignores that only half of the promised 40,000 Afghans have made it through the bureaucratic mismanagement. The refugee cases that my colleagues and I are still receiving in our offices tells a heartbreaking story of Afghan refugees that have been ignored by IRCC. The incompetency of how this government has run this program cannot be an excuse for Canada to turn its back on Afghans who are desperate for answers and those that risk their lives to serve this country. This is not a partisan issue. This is about doing the right thing and doing it now.